Hey, it's Lucy. I have had one week of one last after another. Last week was the last time I made a batch of my Fairlight Mineral, which I first made back in 2017, and it was the first real success of my PhD. I was absolutely overjoyed when I figured out how to make this. I've used a technique called Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy for the last time, which tells me what minerals are present in my solids. Last week was also the last time I sampled an experiment, measured the pH of an experiment, and then the last time I terminated an experiment, meaning all my work collecting new experimental data is complete. My entire PhD has been lab experiments. I've run 155 of them, 134 of which got me excellent data, and from those I took and analysed 1,258 solution samples. And now it's over. It's a supremely strange feeling. When you're in the middle of it, you feel like it'll never end. But now the glove box that was in the lab that was basically my office for three years, it's now empty. And now it feels like the race is really on. It's only really in the last week that I've wholly turned my attention to the task of writing everything down. And so it's only now that I've really realised, oh my good god, do I really have that much to write? There is so much to do! And the thing is, I really couldn't have started any of it sooner because I didn't know what I was writing about. So for the past week, I've been writing up my thesis introduction while I wait for my supervisor to get back with comments on my first paper. When I finish the introduction, because I'm really close, then I'm going to compile all the data that didn't make it into that paper, but which is relevant, into an appendix for my thesis. Hopefully I can get his paper comments back next week, and then I can spend all next week working on that, because then the week after that, that's when I get the last data for my second two chapters, which I'll then need to be ploughing at full steam ahead. What's left then is writing an overarching conclusion section, or maybe a longer discussion and a short conclusion, then I need to write a short abstract, then I need to write a long abstract, then I'll need to tie it all together, compile all the references, contents page, acknowledgements, a million other things I haven't thought of. There is one good thing to say here that I haven't mentioned yet, and that is my methods chapter, and thank you, thank you to 2019 me, I've actually already finished it! I am so grateful for my past self. I was advised by my partner in the year above me to just write your thesis whenever you have a minute as you come to the end of it. So last summer I had a couple of weeks where I didn't have much going on, so I started writing my methods because they were set in stone, they weren't going to change. And I am so, so thankful that I did because it is one less thing to think about right now. I'm starting to understand why people say the last year of the PhD is the hardest. I feel like last year was harder intellectually. Like, last year was when I was teaching myself thermodynamics and when I was trying to figure out the story of what my research was telling me. Now in my fourth year, it's more the sheer scale of all that manual labour still ahead of me that I've still got to get down. Plus, I've got to make sure it all makes sense. So it's quality and its quantity. Something I really wish I'd done sooner was collect the last of my data sooner. I was supposed to get the last of it last month, but the instrument broke, so bear in mind things out of your control when considering your timeline. Something I'm glad I did do was wait until now to write my introduction. I kept being tempted to get started earlier because I'd done so much reading, but it's really only now that I've got almost all of the data that I know the story I'm trying to tell, and so I can actually set the introduction up best to tell that story. To people watching this who've been there and done that, can you please give me advice on what you wish you had done and you didn't, or what you did do that you were really glad you did? I am going to need all the advice I can get if I'm going to come out of the other side of this without being utterly spat out. And for anyone who is coming up to where I am now, start writing! Honestly, set aside one day a week for it, or just if you have empty space where you're waiting for results like I was, use that time to get started. Honestly, your future self will want to kiss your sweet, sweet past feet for it. Wish me luck. I knew when I made my hardest parts of the PhD video that I would probably have to make a take two before I finished, and I'm really starting to feel that now. Things are about to get a whole lot harder. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you soon. My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a fourth and final year PhD student at the University of Oxford and take care.